Stay all day. Stay all day. Now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there, bold way and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is go get an energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today we are talking, we are on part three of five in this five-part series of ways you need to be using AI, artificial intelligence in your business, not now, but right now. But before we get into this, I tell you two things. First of all, my daily motivation text and Monday motivation text both come from the same number, 305-384-6894. It's free to join my text community, so you can do that right now. Or just text me at that number that I just gave you. The number is down below in the description. Secondly, work on your game university. That is the only place I do any coaching. If you would like to have me as your personal coach, if you would like to be uh, working with me directly, if you would like to have me as a person who can take a look at your situation, your businesses, your challenges, whether personal or professional, and get my expert advice in terms of mindset, strategy, systems, and accountability, go to work on your game university.com. Schedule a time to get on a call with uh, someone from our team, me or someone from our team, and we will take it from there. Again, that is at workonyourgameuniversity.com. That out the way, let's get into today's topic. Again, we're picking up where we left off, which is part seven of, we got nine parts here, so I'm gonna give you last three here of ways to use AI in your business. Then tomorrow, we're gonna talk about what's coming in AI that you may not even know about. And then we're gonna talk what to do with any of these things are threatening your livelihood or threatening the sustainability of your business moving forward because this is a real thing and this will threaten a whole lot of people's businesses and it's going to take some people's businesses out from underneath their feet who are not uh thinking on their toes right now i.e people who are not listening to the show so let's get into it number seven photo shoots you should be using ai for photo shoots these days how many of you listen to this need some fresh photos but you have not uh, taken any recently simply because of the resources required in order to get a photo shoot done. To get a photo shoot done, first of all, you have to find a photographer, then you have to uh, communicate with them, then you got to hire them, whatever their fee is, you got to pay them, you got to meet them on location, you got to block off time to actually do it, you got to do your hair and makeup and your clothing, depending on male, female, whatever your situation is, you got to do something to get yourself photo ready, then you got to take the photos, then you know, maybe change clothes a couple times, maybe you do that in the shoot. Then you got to wait a certain amount of time before you actually get the photographs. That's a lot of stuff you got to do in order to get a photo shoot done. What if you can log on to an application online, you can submit, let's say, 10 to 20 photos of yourself that you already have that at least get a good look at your face so that AI software knows what your face looks like. Then you can pay the fee, which will be relatively cheap. When I say relatively cheap, I mean less than $100. Then you click a button, you wait an hour or two, and now you have 200 new photos of yourself, 100 new photos of yourself, all based, all with your face in different clothing, all from the AI software. And if you were to post one of those photos or send it to a friend of yours, most people would not know that that photo was AI generated. It looked like you just took the photo. Oh, this is out right now. This is out right now today. Any of you who would want this, and I have some software that I have used to get photos where I've actually used these photos in my uh, all my content and my social media postings, et cetera. And nobody has known the difference, whether it was a photo I actually took or a photo that was AI generated because they're that good. Now, I'm going to give you some caveats to this. But if you would like access to an application that can do this, I have a referral link that I can give you where I get some extra photos for free just because I refer to people and then you get your photos. The investment for these photos that I, what I just described, the investment last I checked was thirty nine dollars. And now I want you to remember that with this AI software, there are many applications that are offering very generous terms for you to get in now because it's new and they're using it as a testing ground. But once they get it clean and they know exactly what they want, the prices of these softwares are going to go up. I want you to understand the price of these softwares will go up. So thirty nine dollars. If you want this, send me a. Either text me at my number, 305-384-6894. I'm having some technical difficulties with the text community as of the date that I'm recording this. But by the time you co this comes out, maybe we'll have it cleared up. But if not, if you don't get a response from me within a day, then just send me, in a, send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll send you the link to get that information if you can't get a response from me via text. 
or you can email me as well. Either way, just any way you know how to reach me. So you can email me, DM me, or text me if you can't get a response and you don't get a response in the text. That's probably the fastest way because I'll set up an autoresponder in the text. But right now I can't set it up because we got some technical issues with the text. But by the time you hear this episode, maybe we already got that cleared up. Just text me. And I'll, I should even have a, uh, what's the word, a, uh, a keyword that I will have you send. So actually, I will give you a keyword. The keyword that you'll give me is put the, put the phrase AI photo. Put it all as one word. AI photo as one word. Don't put a space in between. AI photo. If you text me the word AI photo, 305-384-6894, I'll send you the link to get your own photos. I told you that last I checked the investment to get these photos, you get about 120 headshots. These are headshot photos with your face, but in different outfits, $39. And I'll get some extra photos too, just because I referred you. So AI photo. Again, if you don't get a response to me within, you should get a response within five minutes because that's an auto responder. So it'll happen automatically. But if you don't get a response, that means we're still having some tech issues with the text. Then hit me in the DM on any app that you follow me on. So this app, this thing is already here. I just described it for you. There are hundreds of apps that are doing this, by the way. I know of one that I liked and I've tried many of them because there are some of them that are not that good, but there are some that are very good. And again, they just ask you to submit a bunch of photos of yourself where they can see your face. Then they go and create the photos. And then an hour or two later, they send you a link and say, here's all your photos. You have all these photos in different clothing, different poses, different backgrounds that, again, people couldn't tell the difference. This exists already. So on my Instagram feed, I use a lot of photos that are AI photos. And again, nobody can tell which ones are AI, which ones are not AI. Now, there are some that you got like some bloopers where I posted some blooper shots. There was one where I'm dressed like Elon Musk and they put my face on it with hair and it was a it was some app that I used that the photos did not come out the right way because you couldn't customize it the way that I needed to customize it. So those are where you can kind of make uh, funny like joke photos, but not the real kind of photos that you need. And there are others where with the, the human body, that's another thing when it comes to AI photos. When it comes to the body, AI software is not there yet. But from the neck up, like collarbone up, headshot like photos, it can do that pretty well because all it has to copy is your, your face and your head, shape of your head. But when it comes to the body, AI is not there yet. So AI doesn't know how to, doesn't yet know how to make different photos based on body types, body sizes, how to match the, the color of your hands with the color of your actual face. It doesn't, it can't do that yet. It's on its way, but it's not there yet. So if you're, so I had some AI photos where I use some apps that I didn't like because they're not, they're not advanced enough yet where they can put my head on a body that they already have, but the body's not the right size. Like sometimes the body's too fat, uh, too thick, the body's too skinny, is not tall enough. It doesn't match my uh, proportions properly at all. So I couldn't use those. So AI, when it comes to the body of a photo, is not there yet. The body of a human in a photo is not there yet. But from the neck up, collarbone up, i.e. headshots, it can do that very well. So any of you want some headshots, again, text me the phrase AI photo. Don't put a space in between. And I will, it will automatically send you that link. If it doesn't automatically respond, that means we're still having some tech, technical issues with the text line. So that means you need to hit me in the DM in a different app and I will get it back to you. So I posted some bloopers on my Instagram feed. So if you follow me on Instagram at Dre Baldwin, you'll see some of those. And even with the bloopers, as I said, there are some apps that are really good at this. And there's some others that I haven't even tried yet that I have on a list that I am going to try. This is a very strong threat to photographers. Is a big threat to photographers. Now, while AI is not going to be able to replace, at least not as of now, on location photo shoots. So if I go running a 10K race or I run a marathon and somebody takes a picture when I cross the finish line, there's no AI that can do that. And there's no AI that can you know, take wedding photos if you have a wedding or a funeral. I don't know if you do wet photos at a funeral, but something like that. AI can't quite do that. Your high school graduation you can't do that, at least not yet. But when it comes to just a photo of yourself and you just need some fresh looks that are different from the photos that you already have, AI can do this very, very well. So, and also, rather, it's a lot cheaper and a lot more efficient than hiring a photographer. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to get dressed. You don't have to put on makeup. You don't have to find a photographer. You don't have to pay the photographer. It's a lot cheaper than a photographer. And the turnaround time is a lot faster. So there's a lot of uh, threats to a lot of industries happening because of AI. And again, there's still some things that, uh, again, a photographer can do that. AI cannot do, but it's narrowing the options, which actually could be good for the photographer, depending on how you look at it. Moving on to point number eight, today's topic. Once again, we are on part three of five. 
how you need to be using AI in your business right now. Number eight, graphic design. Now, I touched on this earlier in a previous point. I, I, didn't, I did more than touch on it. I molested this in a previous point, number eight. But I'm going to touch on it again because this is one that is ramping up extremely quickly and is coming right behind text. So text is the first frontier for artificial intelligence because text has been around for a long time. The next frontier is graphics. Graphics will come before video because graphics tend to not move around. All right, video moves around. That's why video is so hard to render with AI software because you got it. Every single frame has to be right. Whereas with text, there's no frame. With graphic design, for the most part, there's no frame. So graphic design is coming next. And this is ramping up very quickly because of the demand and the need for it. There's a lot of graphic design needs that people have online. And there's a lot of people who have done their own graphic design for years simply because they didn't either know where to look, how to look, or they couldn't afford or didn't want to afford paying a graphic designer. So they did it on their own. So there's a lot of trashy looking stuff online. Nowadays, and moving forward, folks, I'm going to put this, I'm going to target this time around 2025 and moving forward. It will no longer be acceptable to have trashy looking graphics on any website or social media platform at all, simply because it's so easy to create graphics for so cheap. It will not be acceptable. If you have trashy looking graphics, people are going to think something is wrong with you and it will cost you business simply because it's so easy to get graphics made and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Now, there was a time when you could have trashy graphics and people accepted it because it was hard to pay for graphics, hard to pay a graphic designer. Maybe you couldn't afford it. But nowadays, when it becomes so easy and cheap and quick that you could buy it like in an app, 99 cents, now it won't be OK anymore. Right, that's where graphic design is going. So any of you who have trashy looking websites or web design or presentations online, you need to address that with the AI graphic design that is coming out now and that many of them are already out right now. So if you have a trashy looking logo, trashy looking website, your website is all jumbled up and just doesn't look right, doesn't look right on mobile or doesn't look right on desktop, you need to get that fixed ASAP because people are judging you for that because we all have the expectation. This is what AI is doing. It's creating an expectation in the minds of the consumer that certain things are going to look and feel a certain way. So if yours doesn't, then people are going to think that you're, uh, you're like a, a dinosaur. Uh, that's, what pe that's how people are going to be looking at you. Now, there are many entrepreneurs out there who are excellent skill wise and excellent technically, but they need help with graphic design. I'm a person who would, does not want to do my own graphic design. So I'm good with my skills and I'm good on technical stuff, but I'm not a graphic designer. I don't want to be doing any design work. And this is the reason why there's a graphic design industry. And there's a reason why people who hire the, offer these services for hire. So if you are in this space, I would suggest you learn how to use AI rather than race against it because you're not going to win that race. Actually, every point that I made in this series, you better learn how to use it rather than race against it. So any uh, logo designs, website design, page layout, a creation of color palettes, infographic creation, all of this stuff can be done by artificial intelligence now. All of it. And no human being is faster than artificial intelligence. So again, this is not something you race. So I have hired services and hired people to do things such as uh, many of my book covers. I've hired graphic designers to design them. The next book that I finish and publish before I go hire a graphic designer, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go see what AI software can come up with before I go hire a human because AI software will be cheaper and AI software will give me like 15 different options for the same book cover. Whereas if I hired a human and said, give me 15 different looks for this one book cover, they would charge me a lot more money just to make those 15. Whereas the AI is going to charge me one rate and it'll give me 15 choices and I can pick the one that I want. Again, this is why you don't want to race against AI, uh, you, service, you service providers, simply because you can't win. Now, I'm not sure there's going to be any AI that makes the kind of cover that I want. And if that is the case, then I'll go hire somebody. I know who I can hire because I can hire the same people that I've hired in the past to do my book designs because I like the way that uh, they work and they do what I tell them to do. But within the next three years, if it's not immediate, by the time you hear this, I'm probably already at work on the cover design of my next book or I've already done it. But within the next three years, I'll never need to hire a person to design a book cover for me ever again. I got a lot of books left in me that I haven't put out yet. But within the next three years, I won't need to do this anymore. A hiring a human that is i'll just be able to use ai software and i'll get a whole bunch of book covers designed i might even redo some of the book covers i already got and just make them better because i got ai that can do it for me maybe it will inspire me to write more books simply because it's so easy to make covers and with all the other things i talked about it'd be much easier for me to make uh, just books period simply because of what the ai software can do so all of this is coming folks so this is why i'm telling you all to uh wake up and catch up point number nine Today's topic, once again, we are on part three of five things you should be doing with AI in your business right now. E-commerce personalization. This is another one that we talked about a little bit earlier when I reference 
a how you can send a video to a customer mentioning their name and mentioning the product that they just purchased or different, didn't purchase or whatever the situation is so that they are getting uh, customized attention from you based on their uh, based on the actions that they take. So the example, again, as I said, a video message you send to a customer. This already exists today. As I told you, the software is already in use. So you can integrate these into your chat bots to communicate with your customers and prospects via text, voice, and video. So some of you may have been on a website before where there's a human, not a human, but a, a person who's actually talking. So there'll be a voice. You say something, they say something. You click something, they actually talk to you instead of just giving you text that actually speaks in his voice. Now, that is not always going to be the thing because sometimes people are using their phones or a computer. They don't want to have a voice. They don't want sound playing because they got other things going on. But this is going to be optional and this will be something that you'll be able to integrate into your business as well if you want to. So you can integrate these chat bots that can communicate via text message, voice, and video. Now, again, this is not all brand new, but what AI does is it integrates all of this stuff together. It does it extremely quickly. It does it seamlessly, and it makes it easy for a novice to use it. And many of you are novices at this. This is what makes AI different than some of the software that already exists. <clears throat> because some of you, there's a few of you, listen to this who use this kind of software that I'm describing and you know that certain versions of this are already out. And you're like, well, Dre, that's not necessarily new. And I know it's not necessarily new, but let me tell you what is new. What is new is that AI is going to make it very easy for someone with your grandmother's level of technical knowledge to do these things without having to think hard or learn anything new. That's what AI is doing. So when I told you that Zapier is a way for you to automate tasks and connect different applications with each other, yes, that's true. But could your grandmother figure out how to use Zapier? Probably not. But what AI is going to do is make it easy for your grandma to use apps in a Zapier-like fashion because the AI is not going to ask your grandmother to figure out or think about anything. It's basically going to do all the back-end work for you so that you don't have to go doing all the setup. So some of you who are technically skilled, you can do all the setup in the back-end and connect this to this and you understand what an API key is and you know how to find all your passwords and how to make this app communicate with this app and that app and that app at the right time and the right way and fire this response to that. Many, some of you know how to do all that stuff. A lot of people have no idea how to do any of that stuff. Therefore, they can't set their things up the way you have yours set up. But what AI is going to do is level the playing field to where anyone can set theirs up the way yours is because the AI is going to do it for them instead of you having to figure it out. That's what AI is going to do. It's going to make it easier for everybody to do these things. And that's the big difference. That's going to level the playing field when it comes to how things get used technically. But two episodes from now, not tomorrow's, but the one after that, I'm going to explain how those of you who are further ahead and you do understand all the stuff that I've been talking about, and you've been nodding your head along to everything I've been saying, I'm going to tell you where your advantages are moving forward. Because despite the fact that I'm saying all of this in these last three episodes and what I'm going to tell you tomorrow, most of the people listening to this are not going to do anything. They're going to listen to it. It's going to go in one ear, out the other. They're going to enjoy it and appreciate it, but not going to actually take any action. I'm going to tell you what you and the few who do take action what your competitive advantages are going to be moving forward, even though it sounds like I'm making it sound like software is just going to do everything. Humans will just become completely obsolete. That's not what I'm saying. Humans will become less needed in many of these areas, but they're not going to be obsolete because human thinking is still going to be a thing. And I'm going to explain that again, not tomorrow, but in an episode after that. Let me recap today's episode, and then I'll tell you what's coming tomorrow. So last three points here of ways you need to be using AI right now in your business, because these are things that already are happening. Number seven, photo shoots. Any of you need new headshots? And almost all of us can use a headshot because we all got LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you no, know, any of these social media apps. You want a good looking photo of yourself? These AI photos will give you plenty of them. Okay, so this is this one is already out there and it can get you a hundred photos of yourself within an hour. There ain't no photographer out there who can do that. And I'm talking all usable photos. Well, let's say 90% usable photos. Number eight, graphic design. Uh, we talked about this before, graphic design. This is something that is going to be an expectation of your customers and clients and prospects moving forward that you have good looking graphics, even if you're not a graphic designer, because the AI will do it for you. You don't have to be the designer. Number nine, e-commerce personalization. You can give every customer and client who comes to your world a personalized experience, even though they're not talking to a human being. They know it's not a human being, but the AI will be able to uh, make it a personalized experience for them. And again, the more people who pick this up, the more it will become an expectation of your customers which means they're going to expect you to be doing it as well, even though you might have missed the boat and you weren't really paying attention to what you heard here in this series. So you better rewind it and listen to it again. But all that said, make sure you text me. 
uh, actually tomorrow, what is coming is we're going to talk about what is coming in AI that's not quite there yet, but things you should be ready for because these are the next wave that you can take advantage of. You should take advantage of this first wave, these first nine points. But tomorrow I'm going to tell you three things that are on the way that you need to be on the lookout for and paying attention to because they're going to come sooner than you think. Like by the time this episode comes out, they might already be, it might already be one that's working and working the way it needs to. Whereas the day that I'm recording it is not, and that, that's how fast I'm talking. So I usually record these episodes anywhere from two to 10 weeks ahead of when the episode comes out. That's how fast these things are changing. So by the time it comes out, the point that I'm making that it's coming, it might already have come. Everybody get it? That's what's coming tomorrow, but we'll get to that tomorrow. Make sure you text me so you're in my test community. My number is 305-384-6894 and workonyourgameuniversity.com. Only place you can work with me directly. Only place I do any coaching, go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. Schedule a time to get on a call free of charge with us. Talk about where you're at, where you want to go, how we can help. We'll tell you how that works. Workonyourgameuniversity.com. Link down below in the description. Work on your game. Dre all.